Okay, so this is a video yeah. on how to use your calculator to get your random number. So if you need a random number, say between 1 and 200, what you're going to do is you're going to find the option button, which is this button here. So click that one, and you get a whole list of different stuff across here. All right? Now, F1 picks the first one, F2 picks the second one. You see you've got a little arrow here? That's F6, and you want that one? Because you're looking for probability, which is this, this middle one here. So you press that one there like that. Now, can you see you've got various odd things, and you've got random. So what you're looking for is this random one, so you press that one. And now you've got a list, and you've got random hash, int, norm, bin, list, whatever. You're going to go for the int one. So you press that one, and you should get ran int hash. Now, I want a random number between 1 and 200. So I press 1, and then I press the comma button, and the comma button in your calculator is there. Okay, so when I press the comma button, it produces a comma, surprisingly enough. And then 200, close the brackets, okay? And then press the blue equals button. And then just keep pressing it. And you can see what it's giving me is a random number between 1 and 200. Okay? No decimals, no nothing, just nice easy. So what you're going to do for your instructions, okay, you're going to actually say, I am going to type in on my calculator, ran int hash brackets, one, comma, whatever you're doing. So if I give you 400 pieces of information, you're going to type in and you're going to say, to choose a random number, I'm going to use my graphical calculator. I'm going to type into my graphical calculator, ran int hash brackets, one, comma, 400 brackets. This will give me a random number between one and 400. Okay? which is what it does. Okay, think about it. And that's how you do it. So that's how you're going to describe it. So you need to watch the video to find that out. Thank you very much.